I know the city's been a bit on a bit of a high since uh, since the result last week. Uh, obviously, be hoping for for more of the same this week. I take it. Aye, definitely. Like it was a, it was a terrific start, a terrific start this season for us. Um, I thought the boys are outstanding, and um, but we've got another job to do again on Thursday. Um, it's still going to be a difficult game. Uh, we've got a lot of respect for the opponent. Um, you could see the, the, the bits of play, they've, they've got quality on their side. So we need to be wary of that. But like, we've got our game plan and we'll execute it the best we can on Thursday. How good did it feel to secure such a, a decisive result? I mean, 5-1, I mean, it's by no means a, you know, a, a, a low-scoring game. No, no, definitely not. That's, uh, I mean, a lot of goals, a lot of good play from us. And... Uh, yeah, I was, I was just really happy for all the boys and, and the coaching staff as well because we've, we've all put a lot of work in throughout pre-season. And, uh, yeah, it, it paid out in the end. And But, but, but the round's not finished yet. We've still got an, an our second half to go, really, on Thursday. And hopefully we can put it to bed. And I know a lot has been made about the, you know, the difference having the fans in the stadium was and the kind of atmosphere that was created. And I, I know a decision is going to be made today about... Um, you know, the next games at Pataudry and, and whether fans will be allowed back in and, and how many fans that will be. I mean, I suppose if it was decided again to have fans back at the stadium, how much of a boost would that be? Oh, it'd be massive. Um, even the other night, I think we'd only what, five, six thousand, but I felt a lot more than that. The atmosphere was, was great. Yes. And uh, you know, I've just got to take your hat off to the Aberdeen fans, uh, the backing we've had, uh, even through social media last season when they couldn't get to the to the games. and. And now that they're getting back in now, it's it's great to have them back and I'm just really happy that things are starting to go back to normal now and hopefully we can get back to full stadiums as soon as possible. And, and just very lastly for me, Ross, um, I know um, there's quite a few new faces in the squad uh, this year and, and a few new faces in the in the dressing room and, you know, just seeing the way that the, the squad's kind of performed last week and, I mean, something seems to be working. I mean, just, just tell me about the kind of feel-good vibe that seems to be running through the team at the moment. Yeah, definitely. I think uh, the pace we brought in, they've all hit the ground, hit the ground running. Um, obviously, we're, we're two up top, you've got big Chris and you've got the Jet as well up there. But they give you that base up top as well. To, whenever the ball goes up, they're always holding it up. And I think that's the things we maybe missed that last season. And um, I, you, all the new boys have, they've come in, they've gelled really well. They've, uh, they've felt part of the group. And uh, obviously, we've got a big signing as well under Scott Brown. Um, I think he's been terrific since he came in. Just his experience, his know-how of the game. Uh, he's won plenty of trophies throughout his career, so I'm sure he can pass down his, his past experiences to help help the team in the future. Cheers, Ross. Thanks. Thank you. It Hi, was Ross. Just, oh, I'll let, no, sorry, I'll defer. You no, you go, Chris. Hey, uh, Ross, uh, another change of position for you. I know you've played there um, and, and got a few minutes for Aberdeen, but... It's different, kind of maybe filling in for a league game than it is making the, the season debut in a European competition. Uh, how much did you enjoy that uh, alongside uh, old stager? Uh, yes, sir, I can boogie. Uh, Bagandi, yeah. <laughs> no, it was good to be fair. I, I played there quite a lot. Um, I played there in pre season, even last season. I, there was uh, at times where I dropped back into defence. Um, but look, it's, it's not a, it's a position I'm very familiar with as well. Um, when I was at Rangers, that's where I played. Until I was converted into a midfielder, so and I developed myself as a centre back for the youth ranks. So it's a position I know very well, and it's um, I think it's just a credit to myself. I've got that versatility in me. I can play in a, a couple of positions as well. But look, I've, I've enjoyed playing next to Andy. But, uh, we've got a lot of competition in there. We've got big, uh, big Decky Gallagher as well. Uh, he's, he's a really good player, and uh, look, it's just all good for the squad having that good competition. Um, but now that I've enjoyed it, um, good result the other night, but. Got a, a big game again on Thursday. The performance uh, and, if you like, the level of entertainment, the quality of the the, the football, maybe surprised the Aberdeen fans. Obviously, it had been quite a low key um, pre season. People hadn't been able to watch you guys develop uh, under Stephen Glass. Were you as players surprised at all how it came together? No, I don't think any as well surprised in the building. To be fair, like we've all we've all worked really hard throughout pre season. About working a different kind of in the final four, different combination play, and I think you could see that the other night. Um, our goals were great. Um, just to, just to play from either the individual quality or the, or the team, the, the combinations we did, it was uh, it was terrific, and uh, we got plenty of goals. That's maybe something that we missed, especially like the, uh, last season as well. And now we're hoping to try and to try and change that now and, and get a lot more goals, and that's a good start for us. 
Uh, without being too negative, but I will ask you this anyway. Um, they scored one chance. They did have another couple of pretty decent clear-cut chances, one from a set piece of the corner, uh, uh, one early on in the game that may have made it a different complexion. How much of a, a, a threat? Because they are just going to throw the kitchen sink at you on, a, on an artificial pitch at home. Mm -hmm. Aye, they're going to come out all guns blazing because they, they need to get back in the game. But obviously we were disappointed to lose the goal in the, in the last game. Um, look, we've got a lot of respect for the opponent. They're, they're a good side. Like uh, They wouldn't be in Europe, European qualifiers if they weren't a yeah, good enough team. But we know the qualities they have and uh, the, the kind of players they've got that, that can hurt us. So we'll, we'll be almost always on Thursday and uh, we'll be aware of what the opponent can bring to us. Fantastic. Very best of luck. Thank you. Hi Ross, how are you? I'm not bad yourself. Yeah, really good, thanks. Great to see you. Um, just on on Scott Brown, firstly, Ross, um, he appears to have made an immediate and very very positive impression on the on the group. What what, in your opinion, has he added to the dressing room? Um, I think he's, well, Scott Brown's just a leader. He's an out and out leader. You've seen that throughout the years when he's been at Celtic. He's won trophy after trophy. Oh, me. I think uh, he could hopefully. He'd bring that winning mentality into us as well. And um, I wouldn't mind if he could win a trophy as well, to be fair. Um, but but now that Bruni's been terrific since he came in, um, just around the building, um, he's always happy, always choppy. Um, on the training pitch, he's, he's always helping out players, the younger ones as, especially as well. And he's, like, he's just trying to pass down his, his experiences to the team and uh, also put in his bits of coaching as well. But look, he's, he's been terrific and I'll make continue. It's been like a kind of fresh breath of fresh air, hasn't it, with the new with the new manager and the new coaching staff and 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 Scott coming in as well. Um, do you feel that this has the potential to really create something special at the club? Could this be real, really the start of something? Um, look, I'm not going to get too carried away with uh, what we won. We've only one game in. We won five one that night, and that was a great start for us. But like, obviously, we've got our aims in the building, but we, we keep that behind closed doors, what we want to do this season. But it's, uh, it's we want to be as successful as we can. And I think as long as we uh, keep our focus into each game and not get too carried away and, and looking ahead of ourselves, um, I think we'll be all right. And, uh, yeah, we've, we've got our targets, but um, we're hoping it's a successful season this season. And I'm, I'm more than sure it will be. And, and just finally for me, Ross, you know, exciting times uh, and a big few days for the Dons. Um, of course, Europa action and the, the Premiership kickoff. How important is it to build up a kind of early head of steam in the campaign? Uh, definitely. But um, look, we'll get Europa League game coming up on Thursday. That's the main aim. We need to try and get in the next round. And then uh, we'll take our focus on to Dundee United, which uh, will be a difficult opponent. We've got a lot of respect for them as well. But First and foremost is this game on Thursday. But look, we want to try and get off to the best start as well as possible in the season. Brilliant. Thanks, Ross. All the best. Ross, does it feel, um, obviously you'll, you'll know all about the history of Aberdeen, does it feel pretty special to be part of a, an Aberdeen squad that's going over to, to Gothenburg? I well, I've spoke to Simi a few times, to be fair. Um, I think uh, I think Simi's buzzing to get back over there. Um, but... No, it'll be good. It'll be a, a good experience again, going over to Sweden um, see what the facilities and that are like over at Hacken. And uh, I'm really looking forward to the game. Um, and I'm just hoping we can be successful and uh, we can uh, get through into the next round. I think it has somebody been regaling you with stories of, of that night. Uh, can't even remember how many years ago it is now. 28 <laughs> years ago. Uh, no, not quite yet. I've had the, I've had the odd... Uh, Shout over to him about Gothenburg, but he's, he's not quite given us the stories. We might get them on the, the, the plane over, so we'll have a wait and see. <laughs> Does that kind of add to the obviously when you sign for Aberdeen, there's a lot of history there in the club as well? Is it you know, you feel like you want to be making your own history as well? Is that something that drives you on when you, when you see the kind of photos that are around the stadium? You want to make your own history as well? I definitely look, like, uh, when I signed for Aberdeen, which I'm grateful for. Um, Bill Gaff McInnes and, and Doc Mitchell chairman for bringing me in. I already knew about the history of the club. I knew how big a club it was and the aims to, to try and win trophies. And that's why I came up here because I want to try and, uh, try and win a trophy for the club, not just the one. I want to try and win a few if, if it's possible and, and try and make the club as successful as we can be.